So 10 years ago, I moved to Paris, not London, Paris. <laughs> and I was heading there for business school. I had planned to stay with some friends when I arrived and uh, they had left the key for me because they were away for the weekend, which meant I had to dog sit Fluffy. So I arrive, grab the keys, take Fluffy for a beautiful walk around Montmartre, put him to bed, settle in for my first night in the City of Lights. Wake up the next morning, go to take Fluffy for a walk. Fluffy, wake up. Come on, walkies. No response. Fluffy, come on, wake up. Still no response. I walk over to him, go to pat him to wake him up, and then I realise he's not waking up. Stone cold, left us hours ago. Of course I panic, I freak out, what have I done wrong? I just took him for a short walk, I hope he didn't eat anything. What am I gonna tell my friends? It takes me 20 minutes, half an hour, to build up the courage and call my friends. I'm so sorry, I don't know what happened. He was fine yesterday, we just went for a walk, I don't know what happened, I'm so sorry. Their response was a, a massive relief. Don't worry, it's not your fault. We knew Fluffy was sick. We knew he was gonna leave us soon, we just thought he had a few more months in him. So, really sorry that you have to put up with this, but actually, we're gonna need someone to dispose of the body. <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry, it's not complicated. Um, just call up the vet and the vet will organise it. They'll come and pick it up. It's just a phone call. So I call up the vet. Typical Parisian I was to find out. No, no, mademoiselle, sorry. Sorry, too busy. I can't come today. You just have to wait till tomorrow or you can come and bring in the dog yourself. Slams down the phone. So I sit there, fluffy on the floor next to me <laughs> and think, I can't spend my first 24 hours in Paris with a dead dog on the kitchen floor. <laughs> so I take my suitcase, I empty out all my clothes, <laughs> I grab some plastic bags, and I very respectfully <laughs> wrap up Fluffy in these plastic bags, tuck him into the suitcase nice and snug, close up the suitcase, and make my way down of course, three flights of stairs, no elevator. It's Paris, right? <laughs> so clunk, 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 going down the stairs. <laughs> Dead weight is a real thing. I can confirm that. <laughs> and I arrive down the bottom of the stairs and cannot hail the cab, so I think, screw it, I'm just gonna take the metro. Do what all Parisians do. <laughs> so I roll the suitcase a few hundred meters down to the metro get to the stairs, more stairs, still, of course, no elevators. Clunk, 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 and then all of a sudden someone comes to help me. Now, this doesn't help, happen often in Paris, but a guy comes up and says, Mademoiselle, Mademoiselle, let me help you. Grabs the bottom of the suitcase and starts carrying it down the stairs while I hold on to the top of the, the suitcase. And he's kind of making small talk, maybe he's flirting, I'm not sure. Um, but he carries it all the way down to the platform, and as we get to the platform, he says, oh, geez, mademoiselle, it's incredibly heavy. What the hell do you have in this bag? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not going to tell him I have a dead dog in a suitcase. <laughs> so I say the first thing that comes to mind, I look up and I see a billboard advertising laptops. <laughs> and I say, Oh, it's just, you know, it's for my friend, it's some computer material, keyboards, cables, nothing important. You know, nothing interesting. And the Metro then arrives. He helps me, let me, let me, with the, let me help you with the bag, grabs the bag, lifts it onto the, the Metro, I get in. And uh, just like in Singapore, in Paris, when the Metro doors are about to close, a bell goes off. Beep. Halfway through. He grabs the suitcase, jumps out of the metro, the doors close behind him, and I'm stuck <laughs> watching as Fluffy is rolled away in this suitcase, his body being disposed of, and me never seeing him again. What can I say? Karma is a bitch. <laughs> <laughs>